Okay guys, so we're gonna try the engine stand out and uh, first thing I had to do is take that center board out of the middle. Which I'm gonna show you why. I took this K301 engine off a wheel horse I had given to me. The guy uh, started working on a track that he was gonna repaint it, started it, never finished it, give it to me. About a year ago, I brought it home, threw a cover over it and did nothing after that. So if you've seen some of my past videos I've been talking about on my wheel horse that I have, is putting a dual engine on it. And this is the other engine I'm gonna use for that project. But I don't know if it even runs or if it smokes and knocks, I have no idea. So I thought it'd be the perfect candidate to get this motor running and to try my engine stand out at the same time. But to get back why I had to take that center board out is because if you look under here, that this one has the bigger oil pan and the drain right on the bottom that goes through the frame of the wheel horses. So that's why I took that out. So that will sit right down. And I think I'm gonna leave it out because that way I can, instead of drilling holes in it for, you know, other engines, I could do a horizontal or a vertical right there and just leave that board right out. I have to go in and touch up with some paint and stuff, make it look pretty. But it's gonna get all marked up and oiled up and greased up anyway. So that's where we're at with that. So I'm gonna uh, set this camera up and we're gonna lower the hoist and we'll see what way there's gonna be the best way to, uh, to put this engine on it. I think it's gonna go just like this. We're gonna leave the starter on the control side and the carburetor on the other side in case I gotta get into the carburetor or drips gas and don't get on my controls. Or I can do it sideways. I can go like that with it, which I might. And that would be the flywheel will be on the control side and the crankshaft be on the other side. So let's see, I'll lower it down and let's see what works the best. I'm try, let's try to get you guys in a good spot here. That might work. So, okay, let's bring the engine stand over. And I think I'm going to try it this way first. Make sure I don't hit anything. Try it that way. For now, I think I'm just going to clamp it down or maybe throw a bolt in it. I don't know yet. So let's get this out of the way. That comes in handy. One of the best things I put in the shop. Let's feel it this way now. Okay. okay so I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to put the starter on this side. Uh, I got plenty of fuel line. Go over to the carburetor. I'm not going to go to the fuel pump on here. I'm going to go right to the carburetor because I have an electric fuel pump. One thing I didn't put on this stand, which I might before I get this engine started, is a throttle. I think it'd be a good idea to put a throttle on it somewhere, maybe right on the side here, that I can hook it up and then uh, throttle it up too. So I might do that when I turn the camera off and we'll go from there. So uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna show you guys off. I'm gonna clamp down the motor. I'm gonna get all my wires hooked up and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have the cooler up here. I hooked up the uh, positive and negative. I hooked up the 
the coil wire and I cranked it over and I had no spark, so not a big surprise. I also took the carburetor off because it was all broken and corroded. The, the butterfly is not even connected anymore. So I had a, another one I put on there. I just cleaned it quick. I just want to see if it's going to run. And I didn't have no spark. So went to file the points. And I don't know what I did with the old ones. But they were broke right in half. They were broken half and the points plunger was stuck. So I took the points, oh here the points over here. See where they broke, right? Nope. Right there. They broke. So I said, oh man, when am I gonna get some points? So I dug through uh, Pop's points that he had down at the shop. Found a brand new set, not OEM, but close enough. And now, I got a spark. Okay, so next step is going to be, I'm going to get some gas in the gas tank. See if my electric fuel pump works. Uh, I don't have a muffler, so it's going to be pretty loud. And I don't have a coil wire. I'll see if I can hunt something up, but that'll work even that way. So, all right, well, we're going to get uh, straightened up. I'm going to put the points cover back on, and we will get some gas in the tank. Okay, guys, so I tried it out. It doesn't work. I'll show you guys, but first, I got to turn down really? Nick and the crew here. Yeah. It's not a part. It's not a part. It's a tool. See all those guys? If you haven't seen them yet, go check them out. Okay, so I started up. It works good. There's a couple little things I got to uh, straighten out. I did put a throttle on it. I kind of put it forward so I have enough cable if I got to go from either side, depending what engine I have on there. Got to get a new dipstick tube for it. I mean, a dipstick for it. It broke, but I checked it. It does have oil. And the uh, only other problem I have, this Y is for my magneto, if it doesn't have an electric coil, is when I put the fuel pump on, Sometimes it bypasses the float and it comes out of here. I don't know if it's because of old carburetor or it's just too much pressure. So what I did, I actually turned the shut off almost a little more than halfway shut and that seemed to help it. So I'm probably gonna have to get a fuel regulator for it to regulate the pressure down a little bit. But other than that, it works really well. Uh, kind of backfires now because I have no muffler on it of course but I did find a piece of coil wire I kind of made up for it of course this hook is just on there to lift it up with the with the lift so I'm going to set you guys up I'm going to start it and uh let's see what what it's going to do uh, where can I put you guys so you can actually see? Right, hold on, I'm going to spin it this way. And maybe I can set the camera here and I'll step to the side of it so you can see. So hopefully that works. Okay, so the red light's on because my battery's on. So we're gonna put it on run, ignition, 
12 volts, 12 volt in the battery. That's giving me power to my coil. We're gonna flip the electric fuel pump on. This light will light up. Get it running. Hit start. out a little more or figure out if it's actually the carburetor because I really didn't clean it I just kind of took the bowl off wiped it out and uh, didn't look too bad so I put it back together so I don't know it could be the carburetor the needle actually could be sticking the needle seat I'm not sure uh, but we'll figure that out let's give it another start I'll leave a few pump off this time you can see if it floods out. A shout out to Ken Small Engines and Mick Mowers. Um, I'll throw their links in the description of this video. Mick's live stream is on right now. I'm watching it. Uh, they helped me get up over a thousand subscribers today. So I really appreciate them. If you haven't seen them, I'm sure you have, uh, but I'll still I'll throw the channels in the description. I want to thank all my other guys that's been supporting my channels, all you guys out there and, and ladies for helping me out. And there's my small engine test stand. I think I'm going to order a tack and put on here. Uh, 
I like to get it so I can charge the battery, but not every engine is going to have the regulators, the rectifiers on them. So I just keep my battery tender plugged into it. Okay, guys, that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Hit the bell. We'll give you notifications when I post more videos. Uh, tell your friends, share my videos. And uh, stay tuned to watch this engine go on my wheel horse with the other engine. I'm going to have dual engines. If everything goes the way I plan. Probably not going to start that until like I don't know. It's uh, I don't know what date it is today. December. Eleventh. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, February. I'll be probably starting that. And uh, I still got work. Put a Honda engine on that log splitter. Got walkers coming in to get serviced and uh, so they can put them away for the winter and have them ready for next spring. I think I have like 21 coming in. So, yeah, going to be a lot of walkers. Uh, we'll get those done and then I'll probably be starting on my own projects. Business has been well this year. All right, guys, that's it. Be safe out there. Boneyards out.